going to be showing you the realer side of back to school breakfast ideas. I'm showing you three really cool breakfast ideas for back to school, but this is more of the real side. So basically, it is more breakfast ideas that you guys probably haven't seen. But also, when people come on YouTube, they make breakfast ideas that look probably like for a chef made them, like a master chef. But I am not a master chef. I'm just a regular kid, and probably most of you guys out there are watching this show and you're just a regular kid. So these are kind of more um, just basic, easy things that you can see that is definitely not looks like a chef made it. But I just decided that I showed you three back to school breakfast ideas. So let's just get started. For our first recipe, I'm going to be making some banana pancakes. All you're going to need is a banana and two eggs. I started off by putting the full banana in a bowl and cracking the two eggs in a bowl, the bowl. Then I took a fork and mashed the bananas and the yolk of the eggs and I just mixed this all together so it was a consistency that was not too runny but it had some chunks of banana still in it. Then I added some baking powder and I just added 1 8 tablespoon of this into it just to make it a little bit more fluffy. Then I put the batter on a pan. Um, they kind of all ran together but I tried to put them in a pancake kind of form. I let this cook for the one side and then I just flipped them over as well as I could to cook the other side. These are what the finished pancakes looked, and then I just added some syrup on top for some flavor. For my overnight oat recipe, I'm taking some coconut, chocolate chips, almond milk, oats, and syrup. First, I'm adding a cup of oats into a mason jar. Then I'm adding a cup of almond milk into this. For this recipe, it is going to be like an Almond Joy kind of flavor. Now I'm adding in two tablespoons of syrup for some flavor. Next I'm adding in a half a cup of some chocolate chips. last ingredient I am adding in a half a cup of coconut. Then I'm just putting it in the refrigerator overnight and then it is ready to eat in the morning. For my last recipe I'm doing a pumpkin smoothie bowl. All you're going to need is an apple, a banana, some silk milk, pumpkin, some spice, and some walnuts. I added in the banana in the blender. I also added in 3 fourths cup of some pumpkin puree. Then I added in a half a cup of milk, or I think that, no, it was a cup, sorry. I added in a cup of milk. Then I added in some of the pumpkin pie spice. Then I just blended this up in my blender for a smoothie consistency. Then I just put this into a bowl so I could eat it up. It was so good. Then I just added some apple slices on top and then I put some walnuts in the spot where it didn't have any apples. Then I added some more spice on top. I would not recommend doing this because mine was a little too spicy, but yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to our channel. We would love to have you here. Thank you so much.
much for coming, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.